Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fight or Flight. I've received a lot of comments on my previous videos asking what I use to move around the cockpit and how I get my camera to be so smooth. The answer to this is Chaseplane, a camera add-on developed by FSFX Packages. In this video I'll take you through setting up the camera presets for FS Labs A320X. Keep in mind that Chaseplane is still in heavy development. A new beta version was just released with a lot of new features such as a replay mode and hot corners. I won't be going into the multitude of options like advanced settings and motion effects, but I'll give you a basic overview of how to use the add-on. Let's assume you've just purchased and installed Chaseplane and you've loaded up an aircraft for the first time. One way to show the Chaseplane interface is via the middle mouse button. Long press the middle mouse button and when you release, a radial menu will pop up and we can click Open Chase Plane to show the interface. The three main sections for presets are On Board, Outside and Static. The Static section lets you choose from predefined cameras in a set radius from your current position. When you start Chase Plane for the first time, you'll have to click on a button named Scan Airports to generate a list of static cameras from your scenery files. When this is finished, you'll find a drop down list of cameras in the vicinity. Chaseplane knows we're at Innsbruck, so we can click through the cameras here. To get back to the onboard section, we'll just click the title. Right now, we don't have any more camera presets, but I'll get to those in a second. Head straight into the preferences and have a look at some of the options available. I like to have everything enabled on the left column apart from show all static cameras. The rest of the options are pretty self-explanatory. Now have a look at the control assignments tab. Toggle UI is assigned to a key combo which will show and hide the chase plane interface. Forward backward, move left and right are assigned to my arrow keys on the keyboard. Page up and page down are move up and down and the tilt and pan controls are assigned to the trim hat on my joystick. Make sure that none of the keys or buttons that you assign in Chase Plane are assigned in Prepared. If you hold down the middle mouse button, you'll be able to pan around with the mouse and use your movement keys to position the camera. As for flight controls, I use the Thrustmaster Warthog. Even though it's designed for combat flight sims such as DCS, it gives you a vast amount of buttons and switches that you can make use of in Prepared. For this video, I've put up an overlay of the hat switches on my joystick so you can see how I use them in real time. When I move the trim hat on the flight stick, you'll see my view panning around. The two four-way hat switches below will be assigned to various presets, and I have the TMS left and right switches assigned to previous and next presets, which allows me to cycle through the views. A great feature is being able to share and download presets created by other users. I'll go ahead and choose a starting point for the main pilot position in the Airbus. We can browse and search the community presets for the onboard and outside categories and preview them by mousing over the eye icon. When we see one we like, we can download the preset or subscribe to it so if the author makes a change to the original, it'll be automatically kept in sync. Let's download this captain preset from Chewy and make it our own. The first thing I like to do is set the zoom. With wide view aspect ratio enabled in the prepared options, I like to use a zoom setting of 0.7. Anything less than this causes too much distortion, and anything more doesn't give me enough peripheral vision. Chase Plane allows you to set a zoom level per camera, but I like to keep most of my presets consistent. Click on camera, enter 0.7 in the zoom setting, and save the preset. Next, I like to move the camera around to get a good position. We can do this with the sliders in the controls tab or by holding the middle mouse button and using our assigned movement keys. Once you're happy with the position, save the preset either via the control menu as before or via the long press radial menu that we talked about earlier. I also like to zero the pan setting for this position so I can be sure I'm facing forward. Let's go ahead and add an FCU preset. Click the cross at the bottom to add a new preset and call it FCU. Make sure the preset is selected, position the camera and save it.
Now I have two presets that I can cycle between by clicking the mouse or using the previous and next buttons on my joystick. You'll notice the transition isn't very smooth between the presets, so let's fix that. Select the preset, go to Camera, then Advanced. Chase Plane allows you to customize the transitions between each camera with various easing functions and transition times. We'll pick a really smooth one, confirm it, and repeat this procedure for the FCU preset. Any other presets we create from now on will use the transition function and time we just selected. The most important preset for me is the captain view, and I like to be able to get back to it whenever I need to. I generally assign this view to the up position on the TMS switch. To do this, right click the preset and choose assign button, then press the button or key that you'd like to use and confirm. Now, no matter where you are, you'll be able to get back to this preset with the push of a button. Next, we'll add an MCDU preset. After that, we'll add an overhead one. We can now cycle between them as before. MCDU view is also a special preset for me. I'll assign TMS down to this one. We can also hold down the control key in the chase plane interface and assign the key or button from here. Holding down the control key also lets us delete and reorder the presets. I also like to assign the overhead view to the DMS up switch. We'll add a pedestal preset and an ecam preset. We'll also add a radios preset and play around with the zoom to get a better field of view. Let's assign these new presets to the other positions on the DMS switch. Now I have virtually all the positions covered with just two four-way switches on my joystick and the trim hat. The TMS switch covers the pilot view and MCDU. I simulate glancing at the FCU with TMS right. The DMS switch covers the overhead, pedestal, radios, and ECAM. One more incredibly useful feature of Chase Plane is assigning one key or button to multiple presets. I'll go ahead and add a preset that shows the entire overhead panel. I already have DMS up assigned to the overhead, but I'll go ahead and assign it to the new overhead preset. Now when I press DMS up, the first overhead preset is selected. If I press it a second time, it'll select the second overhead preset. Pressing it multiple times will cycle between the presets you have assigned to this button. I'll add one more preset using this feature. 
It's useful to be able to see the navigation display as well as the MCDU, so we'll set this up as a preset. Again, we have TMS down assigned to the MCDU view, but we'll also assign it to the new one. Once again, we can cycle between these views with just one button. Finally, I'll remove the zoomed in MCDU view and the overhead all presets from the cycle by selecting the advanced options for each preset and toggling the skip when cycling presets option. Now when I cycle through all my presets, these two presets will be hidden and I'll have to use the assign buttons to view them. Basically, that's all there is to it. The outside category works in much the same way for setting up outside views and cabin views. There are a ton of extra options for each camera, such as motion effects, and you can really get in there and tune and tweak as much as you'd like. Unfortunately, I don't have time to cover all the options in this video, but I may revisit them at a later date. One final feature I want to talk about is the cinematic mode. This mode automatically orbits your plane from the outside and is very impressive when you're in the cruise. Every few seconds a new camera angle is displayed and there are options available in the preferences. As you may have guessed by now, I'm a huge fan of Chase Plane and I'm really excited to see what's coming next. There have been a few camera add-ons over the years, but Chase Plane rises above anything else out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more in future, and until then, goodbye and take care.